This screencast is looking at 2.2.5 where we need to outline the relationship between the pulmonary and systemic circulation. The easiest way I think to start is if we look at pulmonary to do with the lungs, systemic to do with our rest of the body. Um, and we normally look with with respect to oxygen delivery to working muscles. However, we're obviously also going to have it with delivery to the heart itself, coronary arteries, brain and other internal organs. However, as I said, we will tend to look at it with respect to oxygen delivery to our working muscles. So looking at this little diagram, I'm just going to follow the pathway around. If we start at the left atrium, pass into the left ventricle and we go through the bicuspid valve. The blood then goes into the aorta, passing through the aortic valve. So as we're coming through the aorta, notice systemic arteries. We come in here to the arterioles capillaries. We then have or want oxygen going into the working muscles as part of aerobic energy production. The oxygen is used, carbon dioxide is produced. The carbon dioxide then feeds into the capillaries up through venules or systemic veins listed here in the inferior and superior vena cava into the right atrium past the tricuspid valves into the right ventricle through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary arteries so we're now heading towards the lung and part of the pulmonary circuit and capillaries where carbon dioxide is given into the lungs oxygen is picked up from the lungs and then we move back towards the left ventricle through the pulmonary veins and then it all begins again. A nice little thing for you to be able to do, which we've done previously, is to be able to draw a very basic diagram of the heart. So we've got our left atrium, left ventricle, right ventricle, right atrium, and then to be able to draw from here. So I'm just going to put the left ventricle coming out down here because it makes it easier. Bear with this very, very simple diagram. So 
So to be able to draw something like this, and here we have our lungs, our body. So starting off in the left atrium, through the bicuspid valve, through the aortic valve, through the aorta, capillaries into the body, delivering oxygen, picking up carbon dioxide, up through the vena cava, into the right atrium, through the tricuspid valve, out through the pulmonary valve, into the pulmonary artery, to the lungs, pass carbon dioxide into the lungs to be breathed out, pick up oxygen, back towards the left ventricle, through the pulmonary veins. So the section that looks at the lungs, that's our pulmonary circulation, the area that looks at the body, is our systemic circulation.